Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to find the elusive Raymond. And to do that, we're going to use the campsite method. And in order for the campsite method to work, I can't have any smug villagers on my island. So I had to let go of O'Hare. It was really hard because I really liked him, but I want to get Raymond. So to do this, unfortunately, I have to time travel. There's no way around it. We've got to do it. And what you need to do is wait for someone to show up at the campsite. So I keep time traveling to find that. Once that happens, you see that villager. It's not your one you want. You move forward another six days. And then from there, a day at a time. Keep going 24 hours ahead until you hit the next campsite villager. It's kind of like a villager hunt, but a lot more, say, tedious in a way. But it's okay. Because this is more of a surefire way to find the villager you want using this method. So, without further ado, let's get started. Wow. Um, it took several time jumps to finally, finally get my first campsite villager. But here we are. We're on our way. Um, this is good. So let's see who we have. So I've got my rain gear on, ready to go. Let's check out who we have. Oh, no, I'm not a big fan of the mice, and especially not this one with the weird, I don't know, those weird cheek things. I, I just, I, I can't with that. That's just, um, it's just too weird. Who is it? Oh, uh, you no. Know. Uh, at least he's uh, smug. All right, we've time traveled some more. I uh, it it's some of these time travels. It it takes several days between. Um, it's not consistent. Some of it's maybe eight, ten days between them, and other times it's like uh, a lot more, like thirteen. And so, hopefully, this time. We'll get something a little better. So the first ones haven't been very good. At least I did have, I think, one smug in there. So that's good. I, I have to say I do love the snow. Who is this? Who do we have? Yeah, not a smug. All right, here we go again. All right, let's see. That's who it is. Not a smug, but at least it's B. She's cute. Hey, B. What are you doing here? You're not a smug. So you, you need to, not this time, okay? Maybe on my other island. All right, it's kid. I mean, at least, at least he's cute. Hey, kid. Some say he's the budget sure, but I, I think that's a disservice to him. Okay, well, I think he's smug. So we're we're chipping away at it. This is almost like villager hunting because you're <laughs> you're hunting you're you're hunting villagers at your own campsite and just except time traveling. And you're not having to use any nook miles, so there is that. There's that. That's the bright side. I love I have to say I love the snow. 
All right, here we go. Let's see. Olaf. No, not what I'm looking for. At least it was another smug, so I've gotten four smugs so far. But there's like 34 smugs. <laughs> so this could take a long, long time. Um, and I'm going to keep going. Shep. Oh, um, at least he's a smug. Okay, I've gotten about nine smugs, I think, so far. So that's n not even a third of way through of all the smug villagers. Uh, let's hope. Okay, here we go. And that would be number 10. Number 10 of the smug villagers. So almost a third of way through. I guess I'm in this for the long haul. I'm this far. I'm going to keep going. And no. No. Camouflage. I cannot believe how long I've been at this. This is the second day of doing this, by the way. I am now starting to repeat seasons. We're basically almost a year time traveling. I've time traveled so much, I don't think I exist anymore. I exist in this weird time and space phenomenon. All right. Let's hope this is Raymond. No, but it's number 14 for our smugs. Not quite halfway. Fourteen out of th thirty four. Twenty to go. Okay, I changed a little bit. I got my ears on. Hopefully they'll give me some luck for the cat. Come on, Raymond, be here. I've gotten fourteen out of thirty four smug villages so far doing this. Except I've gotten a lot of other personality types as well. So that slowed me down, so cross our fingers. No. No. I mean, she's sweet. That's, I think, Margie. All right, here we go. I, I, I don't even, I have lost total count how many times I've done this. I've done it so many times. Here we go. Pietro. You know, Pietro would be really good for Halloween, but he's not the smug I'm looking for. So now we have found, officially found 15 
smug villagers doing this. 15. That's out of 34. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I have time traveled officially over a year ahead. <laughs> In increments of different days just to get Raymond. All right. Here we go. I mean, the chances are getting more narrow. I should be I should, I should be able to get him. I mean, let's go. Oh, that's not Raymond. No, that isn't. But that is at least another smug. So we're at 16. Almost halfway. We're really close to half of the smug villagers. 16 out of 34. And I have a feeling that I'm going to have to go through all 34 smug villagers to get Raymond. Oh, no. No, no. Kurlos, number 17. Kurlos is number 17 of the smugs. That means we are officially found half of the smugs. Half. 17 out of 34. I might have to go through every single one to find him. I'm hoping I don't. I mean, the odds, are, my odds are getting increasingly better. But um, we will just keep going. All right, here we go again. <gasps> it worked, finally. Oh my gosh, finally, finally, finally. I got Raymond. Okay, what they say to do, would you have him, is I have to come out and save it. Actually, I could have probably just saved it there. So, we got to save first. That way, um, if he picks the wrong villager, I can start again. All right, here we go. We finally got Raymond. I can't believe it. I finally got him. This has been a marathon. I'm telling you, it's been a marathon. I've been doing this for ever. I did it several hours last night. Several hours today. And it's paying off. I mean, it's paid off. I got through 17 smug villagers before getting Raymond but added to that was several other personality types like so many other personality types that um, added to the the time taken to do this so um, but it's worth it I think this is worth it this is totally worth it hey Raymond Hey buddy. Okay, you got you got to come to my island. Let's see who he picks. If he picks anyone I happen to meet before, I will take, I will I'll let him go. And then I'll just move him back in.
Go for it. Okay. I got Lucky's Amiibo. We can do this. All right. Lucky will get a better location. I'm not really thrilled with Lucky's location anyway, but... Okay. I can't, I can't believe it. I got Raymond. Yay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to say goodbye to Lucky, although it's temporary because I'm going to move him back in shortly after this. <laughs> Um, then we're going to move forward, make sure we get Raymond in. Here's Lucky Spot. I'm going to change that decor. And then we're going to probably, we're going to put Lucky. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, Lucky. Don't worry, you're going to be coming back soon. Soon you will be back. I said that if I have the amiibo, I'll let him take them. And fortunately, Lucky was the one, but that's okay. It's okay. Because I'll easily get Lucky back. Let me get that. And all right. So let's save here. Definitely save here. <laughs> and then we're going to time travel another day to get Raymond in. Okay, we're going to go see. Here's his house. There he is. I finally got him. I'm a little pinchy right now. I've been doing this for so long, so it doesn't sound like I'm that excited, but I really am. I, I cannot believe I got him. He's right here. Finally, finally, finally. And, it, you know, I think it was a lot better than doing 100, 200 Nook Miles. I didn't want to go and pay for Nook Miles tickets. I didn't want to pay for Raymond. Um, you know, and, and if people want to do that, there's nothing wrong with that. I, you know, everyone can play the way they want to play. That's fine. A lot of people don't want to time travel. To do the campsite method, you have to time travel. I time traveled so much, I don't even exist anymore. I mean, this is like over a year ahead of where we are today. Um, and my villagers will probably not even know who I am. So what I got to do after this, um, I'm going to go back to real time. Give all my, pres give all my villagers presents so that they uh, know who I am again. And um, then I'm going to like... Uh, move Lucky back in and uh, get back to normal and then prepare for Halloween. So thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.